And yes, you're very welcome along to our uh, featured uh, Dacia Og piece. Uh, this week, uh, Waterford GA are currently seeking suitable candidates to apply for the role of strength and conditioning interns, where full training and support will be uh, provided. There's more details there available on the uh, Waterford GA social media platforms. And uh, a man uh, deeply involved is uh, Mikey Cronin, who's currently involved with the uh, Waterford uh, Dacia Og under 14 hurling squad. And uh, he joins us on the line now to fill us in about the role and I suppose the, the opportunities involved uh, with this. So, uh, Mikey, maybe first of all you might bring us back and, and say and maybe talk to us about how your own involvement came about in terms of the, the strength and conditioning with uh, Waterford GA and Deja Og Yeah that's no problem Gavin um, I guess uh, last year I, there was an, an advert went up on Twitter and one of my um, a cousin of mine actually he's a strength and conditioning coach just tagged me in it and uh, I, I, I applied and sent my CV in and I eventually went for interviews with, um, with the, the, the board that was there and uh, talking through what was going on, and it's just great to be involved with uh, like an inter-county team. Basically, like starting out as an SNC, you'd always love to be in with as many teams as you could, like to learn and progress. Absolutely, absolutely. And SNC is is your own background as well, uh, Mikey. You're you're into it. You're you're passionate about it as well. We can we can see that. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I'm I'm in the middle of my degree in uh, Santa College, studying SNC. Like I was playing up until last year, so. The plan was to try and get involved in underage and youth development and uh, learn my trade that way as I go through. Like, so the, the opportunity that came up was a godsend really for me because um, I, I, I'd be an advocate for people to get involved with underage because there's so much you can learn and there's so many avenues and doors that could open for you being involved with underage. Absolutely, yeah, 100%. And uh, in terms of the, the, the strength and conditioning programme and the, this structure now that Waterford GA has put in in terms of squads as well, you might give us an outline of, of how that's working as well and I suppose the benefits in that as well, Mikey. Yeah, so basically um, we had an outline and plan, um, Jerry Fitz. Uh, I don't, don't really need to introduce Jerry Fitz. Mm. Like, he's one of the main men down in Waterford. Like, but he was our mentor. Like, so basically the outline was we build up a blueprint and the, the S&C side of it then would all be involved in the programme and, and adding to the programme so you're, you're very hands on with the Dacia Oak like it's not just implementing a plan you're, you're very much a part of it and field sessions then you get a bit of um, like you have a blueprint there to follow but you can add your uh, progressions and regressions to speed work and like uh, injury prevention so it is uh, what I will say is it, it's very good for a, a young S&C coming up and, and, and starting his trade because you're there, you're involved, you're hands-on, like you're getting to implement the programs that you were part of uh, creating. So like, it's a great opportunity for someone if they want to be standing out and getting involved, especially with an inter-county team. Absolutely, and that level, I suppose, of S and C, and I suppose you know those, you know, the attention to detail now going into squads, even the younger squads as well. That side of the the game now, and that side of GA, Mikey, is really kind of up to notch, I suppose, over the last couple of seasons, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So like, testing is a big thing now. Like it's great to learn at that level. Like everything is testing now, and um, seeing how your programs are progressing, how the like uh, how your players are progressing. Like um, with underage, like we're trying to kind of let's say with this show, we're trying to get all the testing in and have documents there and see what works and what don't work as you go forward. Like so, eventually down the line, it will make a program that's I wouldn't say perfect, but it fits every age group as you go through. Like and something to follow and look back on in time to come you know yeah absolutely absolutely and uh, yourself and uh, I know Sean Cleary we're going to be chatting to Sean uh, very shortly indeed as well um, you might give us an outline of the, the squad you're currently involved in Mikey yeah so we're currently involved with the under 14 hurling it'll be under 15 for next year now so uh, we're actually in the, the gym programme now so we're kind of splitting east and west so there were a couple of coaches there in with us uh, very good coaches should I say um, so we'll have most of the East players on a Friday night and we'll go through our strength development programme getting them ready for the next season Absolutely and uh, in terms of the, the roles then with this uh, the interns or the, the strength conditioning interns which Waterford GA are looking for Mikey you might give us maybe an outline of, of what those roles will, in, will involve for anybody I suppose willing to, to take it up and, and get involved as well and I suppose the benefits in it as well Yeah so um, like our role when we started out we're basically a uh, we're involved with the speed program on field, the warm ups, uh, speed development, and the implementing the program for the strength gym based program. So it's very hands on. Like you get a chance to coach, like you learn as a coach as you're going. Like you see what kind of coach you're kind of developing to be. You're working with some of the top coaches in Waterford. So basically, like your job is 
to to warm him up, get him ready for a speed program, work with him on the field, come up with progressions for the speed program, and be working with him in the gym, gym based program. So like it, as a coach, like as I say to someone, like you, you can look at all the books in the world, but you need to be out there involved with teams and it will develop you as a coach like and the people you meet and the networking you get from the day is, is is invaluable really yeah 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 and being in the thick of it as well I suppose that team environment and GA and I suppose you know team sports in general I suppose you know having that camaraderie I suppose you know at training and, and meeting the lads as well in the backroom team as well as you say you know that's important I suppose as well to be involved I suppose around that environment isn't it yeah it is like it like there's so much you'd learn uh, on the go as you're on the field. Like sometimes, like if you think on your feet, like it, it it does develop you as a coach and and rapidly at that. Like I I find, I like even Sean will even tell you as when he comes on. Like over the time, like he, he, it it develops you as a coach and as a people person too. Like because like you can read off programs all day long, but like as a person and as a coach, like you you, you get to know all the young guys there and like you, you develop, you're developing them at the end of the day, like it's all about them. But as a coach, like it progresses you along, like a lot faster than like, let's say if you're just reading off programs and, and, and going into gyms and just kind of being there, being there, thereabouts, like you're actually involved coaching, like you're relaying to the manager what you're doing and where you're going to be in four weeks time. Like it's great for development as a coach. Mm, yeah, certainly putting uh, putting everything in place, I suppose. And uh, yeah, I suppose a, a final point uh, then, uh, Mikey. As you know, we are having a big, uh, are pushing a big drive now to to get people involved with the uh, the athletic development program. And I suppose the benefits of it for for anyone listening or that maybe might be even a little bit maybe hesitant to get involved or might be a little bit nervous or you know the rewards of this and and being involved. I suppose from your point of view and you know encouraging I suppose other people to you know to to give it a go. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, the rewards uh, there's a lot of doors will open for you like and plus as a coach like the, the main thing is to be be there be involved and being able to implement the plans that are in place like if you can learn all that as you go as a coach like it, it's massive going forward like it'll develop you as a player uh, as a coach you'll develop the players that are in front of you and you're networking the big thing is networking in SNC like it's very hard like there's jobs there but it's very hard to get involved in, 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 in like let's say underage or teams when you're just kind of starting out so the internships like this are invaluable and I advise anyone to get involved if they can if they have any like wishes to be involved with SNC like they show they give there's great opportunities there to, to, to actually be a coach Absolutely, and uh, of course uh, the uh, full details there on Waterford GA uh, social media channels. Own Mars, uh, Own Morrissey, the coaching officer, Own Bernock. You can contact any of the lads as well. Uh, Mikey, really appreciate you uh, taking the call. Keep up the good work, and uh, sure look, please God, we'll catch up with you again very soon. Yeah, thanks a million, Gavin. Thank you. And yes, we are uh, continuing our uh, featured uh, Desha Og uh, piece uh, this week, where uh, Waterford GA, of course, are uh, currently uh, seeking suitable candidates to apply for the role of uh, strength and conditioning uh, interns. And uh, full details there, as uh, we were mentioning to Mikey Cronin a few minutes ago, are available on the Waterford GA uh, social media channels. Uh, delighted to uh, welcome uh, now uh, joining us on the line is uh, Sean Cleary, who uh, is involved with the uh, under-14 uh, hurling development squad and also started in the role uh, uh, with the Waterford GA athletic development programme. So, um, Sean, obviously exciting times uh, in terms of th- this internship and the, the benefits of it. But maybe first of all, you might give an outline of, of how you got involved and, and, and the squad you're currently involved with. Um, yeah, I suppose I see in there, uh, just, I think it was a couple of months ago, during lockdown, Waterford were kind of putting up, um, I suppose, they were looking for interns, so I said I'd send in a CV and see how it went, and then I got the, the interview then, obviously, and I had Jer, Jason Ryan, or Jerry Fitz, Jason Ryan and Umber Dock, and went from there, and fortunately enough, I got in and there it was just plain saying brilliant brilliant experience altogether yeah great stuff indeed and you mentioned Jerry Fitzpatrick there of course uh, and, and Mikey mentioned him as well earlier on there and uh, you know I suppose that to have I suppose a leader like that at the, at the top of it as well no doubt you know must be a great benefit I suppose to you as well you know in terms of coming in and getting getting that experience yeah I suppose look I was I, I didn't really know him much before um, I got involved with the Legends Development Programme like Unfortunately, I, I don't have him in college. Like, I'm in WIT and he's gone from there. So, um, the minute I got in, I just I was told he was a genius. And then from minute one, from learning from him, it's just it's unbelievable. Like it's 
the extra benefits I'm getting from from the program, from learning from fellas like him and, and now Richie Bulger is, is, is just unbelievable for me. I suppose it's, it's just about networking really, I suppose, in, in this kind of sports industry, you know, you know better than anyone happen like it's it's unreal to learn from from the best. Like Jerry is the best in fairness. Mm, yeah, absolutely great stuff. And uh you're currently or you're currently involved with the under fourteens uh hurlers, uh Sean obviously be carrying over to under fifteen for next year as well, yourself and Mikey there. Yeah, we are, yeah. Um it's working really well at the moment. Uh suppose we started on the field a couple of months ago and it was really just a matter of us doing the warm ups and sprint work at the start and now in the last few weeks we got into the gym and we're working with all these players, so under fifteen, well next year's under fifteen, the next year's under sixteen, so we're getting to see the the best of what the water has in, in hurling and football in the east, so it's unreal to be working with them really. Mm, absolutely and uh, I was just touching on it with, with Mikey I suppose about the level of you know maybe the, the strength and conditioning and, and you know putting in this this hard graft I suppose even in November December January I suppose that level even at underage now it's it's really gone to an early you know semi-professional level now I suppose really isn't it yeah it is like like you see it like even the Limerick senior hurler the, the level they're gone to like the, the physique of them and like you seen the Cork Miners last year I suppose that's just where we need to get to over the next couple of years and the fact that water are putting this in place I suppose will stand us in good stead going forward certainly will and uh, there's great back in there with Desh Og and, and Waterford GA as well and you know everyone working together I suppose you need that in the county as well I suppose to, to move forward Sean yeah exactly anything we've asked for we've been given by Desh Og like uh, the times uh, they're very suitable for Friday night or Saturdays and I suppose you're you're just looking forward to it every week. Then taking you go out there, and like I say, I don't have time where I'm not looking at my phone. And Mikey is not on it, or Tom is not on it, and we're planning for the following week. We're just looking forward to getting out and working with the lads because it's really enjoyable, enjoyable environment. Mm, great stuff, great stuff, and uh, of course, uh, you know, there's a big big drive on at the minute now. I suppose to get people involved. Uh, Sean, maybe you might just give the give an outline of maybe the the benefits of it and, and what you've learned from it and what people can gain from it uh, by applying and getting involved. I suppose the biggest thing I just myself and Mikey just always we're always talking about is, is networking, meeting new people with different ideas, and like nobody knows everything. Like so if Mikey might have something a different idea to me so I'd learn off him and, and and gain something from him and then obviously with Jerry and, and stuff like that like just they're learning up constantly like I'm, I've learned more in this program than I did in college altogether really to be honest because they're learning on the ground and it's, it's just unreal mm, yeah and uh, Mikey touched on that as well I suppose but you know I suppose that face to face interaction and you know every time you go out in the field you know there's benefits in it and you know you're you're improving and, and then you're I suppose you're, you're looking ahead to the next night as well and, and planning always planning forward I suppose yeah exactly like like if you're getting involved like you, you really want to give it your best foot forward like you know so it, you have to be constantly planning and constantly thinking like we're screening the players and myself and Mikey are, are always like trying to think outside the box what can we do to uh, to get the players to the next level just just keep pushing and keep pushing and hopefully players will reap the rewards of that yeah great stuff and uh, I suppose finally then uh, Sean you're obviously working the lads hard at the minute getting ready I suppose now for you could say 2022 which is only around the corner really so you're still pretty much hands on and looking forward no doubt to next year yeah, exactly. And the lads are, are brilliant lads. The, the group that we have, they're, they're always listening and always asking questions of how to get better. So it's an unbelievable environment to work in. And, and hopefully in next year, they'll see, we'll see the, I suppose, the size and strength and speed of what we've put into them in the gym over the last couple of weeks and over the next couple of weeks. Um, so hopefully we'll see the rewards of that on the field next year. And please God well, we'll all be uh, looking forward to that uh, Sean Cleary really appreciate you uh, taking the call keep up the good work and uh, talk to you again soon Thank you, Gavin thanks